It has come to our attention that, despite the fact that Pi currency is now labeled as IOU on Binance, its daily trading volume has increased dramatically by $18.48 million. Did you hear that, guys? I didn't claim it was advertised to be exchanged on Binance, I just mentioned it was listed as an IOU there. Some folks will visit my comments section and start posting fictitious information. Even on CoinMarketCap, there have been publications that cast doubt on the reliability of the Pi network. Please be aware that Mainnet has not yet opened, therefore the prices shown below for some exchanges reflect the value of the IOU rather than the actual exchange rate, thus they may not be transferable. But speaking of IOU, I'm sure there are some people who are unaware of its significance. I'll explain. IOU tokens are a class of digital asset that are used to symbolize debt owed by two parties. IOU, which stands for IO, is a contract that recognizes the payment of a specific amount of debt. These tokens can be used to speed up transactions between two parties, such as the exchange of money, products, or services. If anyone remembers, I noted in one of our earlier films that Pi Network has been on the Binance price tracking platform for almost two years, but for some reason it is still not available for trade. I doubt that one of us can recall this. PI currency has only recently been published on Binance IOU, but even so, its price has been rising and its daily transaction volume is remarkable. This is evidence of the coin's rising fame. As is well known, Pi is still operational within the boundaries of its maintenance closed network period and has not yet been approved for trading or listed on any exchanges. Furthermore, no alleged listings have been accepted by Pioneer members. Pi Network is aware of accusations that a number of prohibited third-party exchanges and possibly unidentified third parties are making an effort to sell Pi or tokens that are purported to be Pi, as well as purported derivatives of Pi, without the knowledge, permission, or assistance of Pi Network. Once more, fellow pioneers, allow me to extend to you the warmest welcome to this channel. But first, let's do what we always do and say the standard disclaimer. You should always carry out your own study, consult with authorized experts, draw your own findings, and decide for yourself. I don't mean for anything I say in this video to be taken as professional or financial advice of any kind, it's just my own view. Not to mention that I personally own PyCoins and have a stake in the project's success, as you may already be aware. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for more regularly updated stuff like this and give this video a thumbs up. Additionally post a remark below with the phrase Pi Network to the moon. With that said, let's get started. Currently, Pi currency is trading at $93.63, which is minus 15.34% less than its all-time high. There is an old proverb that goes, the patient dog eats the fattest bone, and I realize that some of you might feel discouraged, but I beg you not to be. The network handles $18.48 million in daily transactions and has a popularity level of hashtag 2601 among all cryptocurrencies, despite the fact that the coin's official ranking has not been made public. So let's just set our minds at ease knowing that even if the Pi coin drops by $1 today, it will recover its loss tenfold. However, despite the fact that the volume of trading on coin market cap has decreased by minus 76.45% to a total of $9,564,086 as of the time this video has been created, I am not here to argue about that. Not only that, but the price has fallen by another 11 points, or 35%, to the level at which it is currently trading, which is $101.70. The primary network is still operational despite all of this, though. In fact, a formal statement about the trading of PyCoin will happen very soon. Based on the volume of daily transactions, Binance is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. It has long expressed interest in listing the PyCoin. They won't, however, proceed without the core team's approval given the current situation. They are therefore anticipating the debut of the open mainnet. According to speculations, various unapproved third-party exchanges and possibly unidentified third parties are attempting to list PI, tokens that purport to be PI, or purported derivatives of PI without the knowledge, consent, or cooperation of PI Network. Let's now discuss who will profit from the $500 million loan that Binance intends to provide for Bitcoin mining infrastructure. By daily trading volume, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world has revealed plans to offer financial assistance to businesses engaged in cryptocurrency extraction. The platform's mining pool recently launched the lending project. 
As part of initiatives to support the mining industry, the program will assist infrastructure providers and Bitcoin mining. According to the exchange, Binance Pool, one of the top crypto mining pools in the world, has a duty to support the preservation of a robust ecosystem for digital assets. Given the state of the market, Binance Pool is starting a $500 million loan operation to aid cryptocurrency miners and providers of digital infrastructure. With the proposal, the International Cryptocurrency Corporation hopes to provide secure debt financing services to prestigious Bitcoin Betra mining and digital asset infrastructure businesses on a global scale, both public and private. Borrowers would have to agree to a set of terms and conditions, such as an 18 to 24 month duration and interest rates ranging from 5 to 10, in order to be eligible for the loans. Additionally, miners will need to offer adequate security to fund either physical or digital assets. The exchange also disclosed that Binance Pool plans to introduce cloud mining goods in the statement. According to the exchange, Binance Pool, one of the top crypto mining pools in the world, has a duty to support the preservation of a robust ecosystem for digital assets. Binance Pool is launching a $500 million financing operation to aid cryptocurrency miners and providers of digital infrastructure in light of the present market conditions. The project seeks to provide secure debt financing services to both public and private blue-chip Bitcoin bidders, according to the global cryptocurrency company Worldwide Mining and Infrastructure Firms for Digital Assets. Borrowers would have to agree to a set of terms and conditions, such as an 18- to 24-month duration and interest rates ranging from 5 to 10, in order to be eligible for the loans. Additionally, miners will need to give Binance with security that is acceptable, whether it be in the form of real or digital assets. The exchange also disclosed that Binance Pool plans to introduce cloud mining goods in the statement. With that, we've come to the end of the video, kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon for more interesting daily cryptocurrency predictions. If you find this video helpful and interesting, kindly consider liking and sharing our videos with your friend. If you have any questions or contribution kindly drop them on the comment section below. Disclaimer. Please keep in mind that this isn't financial advice, we take no responsibility for any loss or damage caused by your actions or inactions as a result of watching any of our videos. You acknowledge that you use the information we provide at your own risk. Thank you for watching and see you in the next. Please click the like and subscribe buttons below if you liked this video. Additionally, please check out the email in the video's description if you have any business proposals. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next.